Hey guys, it's BB202, and LEGO just released the results of their first week of voting for their 90th anniversary LEGO set. And here's a screenshot from Promo Bricks, and before I really get into it, I'll just let you take a look at this and try to figure out what's going on. So anyway, for those of you who don't know what this contest is, it is a bracket, really, that LEGO created, where they listed a bunch of classic themes, and fans could choose up to three of their favorite themes, and the three themes at the top would move on into the next round of voting, and the theme that wins that round of voting gets turned into an official set for their 90th anniversary in 2022. Now, it didn't get very far into this process before people realized that something was terribly wrong, and at the end of the week, it's still true. What LEGO has ended up doing here with this vote is they've created a gerrymandering situation, which is a political strategy. And that's more of an adult topic than a building block toy would usually call for, but it's still important, because the implications are really quite something. Castle got twice as many votes as Bionicle. In fact, where Bionicle truly finished, it wasn't even good enough for second place, not even close. And yet Bionicle is still in first place. This is exactly how you don't run a democratic vote. You split the competition into a bunch of tiny pieces, and then you took one hardcore group of fans, and they're all pushing for just one different category, while the competition, who has a bigger fan base, judging by the poll, is split because they can't all decide on which sub-themes to vote for. You know, would it have been fair if LEGO had divided Bionicle into each of its individual eras? You know, I'm sure there are a bunch of those. Would that have been fair? No, it probably would have ended up fracturing the vote in a similar way. This is not a Bionicle thing or a Castle thing. It's the election itself that I have an issue with. And it's not fair. If LEGO were truly in the interest of fairness, the best way they could go forward with this is, you know, Bionicle finished in third place. That's good enough to continue on to the next round. The only thing they would have to do is swap out Pirates for Castle and give Castle a fair chance because it got more votes than anything else that was on that poll when you put it together. Now, just to be clear, I don't think that there was anything behind how this vote came out the way it did and how LEGO organized it. I don't think they were showing any kind of favoritism because if they really wanted to do that, they just wouldn't have included certain themes and would have included others. But it looks like they gave almost every theme that's been around for a long time a chance to get voted in. I think you probably just have to chalk this up to incompetence. They didn't spend too much time putting the poll together, they didn't think through the implications of it, and this is what ended up happening. And you have a bunch of people who are very angry about it. But again, LEGO has a very simple solution, and I hope they take it. Because if they don't, they will have created this controversy for no reason and upset a lot of people when the whole point of this was to celebrate their 90th anniversary. So that would be kind of ironic. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for this video. Let me know what you think about this situation in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram if you aren't doing that already. And thanks for watching.